Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to at another episode on Little Sla YouTube channel. So in our previous video, I have gave an explanation of how to find the request timestamp, but Praveen still wanted to know about the request timestamp, the response timestamp and the latency for each HTTP request. So here I have come up with a code and for that I'm using a JSR223 preprocessor and again I have another video on JSR I have multiple videos on JSR223 preprocessor in case if you have time please go through it so this groovy script I mean by using the groovy script we can make wonders using the JSR223 preprocessor so first let me bring the libraries and before that I'm choosing the groovy script to do this scripting so using this script I'm going to find the request timestamp, the response timestamp, and the latency. So once I bring the libraries, I will then define the date format. So here I have defined the date format. So this is going to be the date format with milliseconds. In fact, I had only the R minute and seconds, but there are multiple transactions which are in milliseconds. So I added this milliseconds as part of this script. And then I added the next step to get the request and response timestamps. So here we have got the request timestamp and then here we have got the response timestamps. And then I will add the latency because this is the third requirement. So we have to get the latency. So for that I'm defining the, the latency here and I'm getting the previous dot get latency. So using this, using all these three statements, we are getting the start time, which is the request timestamp. The end time is going to be the response timestamp and the latency is going to be the latency of each request. And then I'm getting the request number for each sampler label. So using this, we do not want to confuse like which transaction has got this uh, metrics. I mean the request timestamps. So for that, I'm even defining this value here. And then I'm adding the timestamp format. So previously, this timestamp came in a Unicode format. So I do not want that because it will bring a lot of confusion. So I have designed in a way that it will be in a understandable format, it's a normal human understandable format. And then there is an option. So here I have logged the data. So you do not want to even go inside the log file, but still if you, this is an option. So if you want, you can log this info or else automatically this will be exported into a CSV file. And that is the code here. So I'm returning the values in a CSV file, in a separate CSV file. So this will be saved inside your Apache JMeter folder, the local folder innovation. In case if you want to save it in some locations, please feel free to give the location here under the new file, the output.csv file. So now let me run the script and I will show you what will happen. So here I have got the HTTP request. So this is going to be the HTTP request which I'm going to execute for this example and the thread group. I have just one user with three iterations to show you three different timestamps. And here is the file. Let me open the file for you. So here under the bin directory, I have the output file. This is the output file. So let me clear all these data and let me save it. Then coming back to the script. Coming back to the script here. So here I have the script and let me execute it. I executed the script and let me go to the view results tree. So here I've got three requests and now let me close it and I'll open it again and show you. So here you can see the HTTP request which I've used and then the timestamp which is here's the request timestamp and then here is the response timestamp. Uh, sorry, the date and then the response timestamp with its date and then the latency. So I believe this video, I have given the answers for the question, just asked in the comments. And the next video, I'll be working on the next question, which is the video on performance testing using, using virtualization tools like Moonbank. So I'll definitely try to make another video on that. So until I meet you in another interesting video, it's bye-bye from Vasan Shanmugam and Little Slaw.